Hello guys, before baby Ron go to bed, she need to hear a story. So, the title of the story is Thomas the Tank Engine in France. Thomas and Trevor. Okay, this is the story. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so there is Thomas, Henry, Edward, James, Gordon, and Percy. These are the trains. Okay, so let's start the story. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Thomas and a Trevor. Okay. Trevor, the traction engine, enjoys living in the Vicar's orchard on the island of Sodor. Edward, the blue engine, wants help to save him from being turned into scrap. Yeah. So now, Trevor lives at the vicarage and the two engines are great friends. Okay, these are Trevor and Edward. Okay, so Edward come to see Trevor every day. Sometimes Trevor is sad because he doesn't have enough hard work to do. I do like to keep busy all the time, Trevor sighed one day. And I do like company, especially Catherine's company. Okay, so cheer up, smiled Edward. Sir Topham Hat has worked for you at his new harbor. I'm to take you to meet Thomas today. Oh, exclaimed Trevor happily. I harbor the seaside children. That will be lovely. Trevor sprayed car was coupled behind Edwards and they set off to meet Thomas. Thomas was on his way to the harbor with a train load of metal pilings they were needed to make the harbor wall firm and safe. Hello Thomas, said Edwards. This is Trevor, a friend of mine, his attraction engine. Thomas eyed the newcomer doubtfully. Oh, what engine? he asked. Attraction engine, explained Trevor. I run on roads instead of rails. Can you take me to the harbor, please? Sir Topham Hat has a job for me. Yes, of course, replied Thomas, but he was still puzzled. Workmen coupled Trevor's freight car to Thomas' train. And soon they were ready to start their journey. I'm glad Sir Topham Hat meets me, called Trevor. I don't have enough to do sometimes, you know, although I can work anywhere in orchards, on farms, and scrapyards, even at harbors. But you don't run on rails, Puff Thomas. I'm a traction engine. I don't need rails to be useful replied Trevor. You wait and see. Okay, so when they reach the harbor, they find everything in confusion. Freight cars had been de derailed, blocking the line in stone. Slugs lay everywhere. We must get these pilings through, said Thomas Driver. They're essential, Trevor, he said. We need you to drag them around this mess. Just the sort of job I like, replied Trevor. Now you'll see, Thomas, I'll soon show you what attraction engines can do. Trevor was a good as his word. First, he dragged the stones clear with change. Then he towed the pilings into position who need rails. He muttered cheerfully to himself. Later, Thomas brought his two couches, Annie and Clarabelle, to visit a river. Thomas was most impressed. Now I understand how useful attraction engine can be, he said. Thomas' couches were full of children, and Trevor gave them rides along the harbor. Of all the jobs he did at the harbor that day, he liked this best of all. He's very kind, said Annie. He reminds me of Thomas, added Clarabelle. Everyone was sorry when it was time for Trevor to go. 
Trimus followed him to the junction. A small tear came into Trevor's eyes. Thomas pretended not to see and whistled gaily to make Trevor happy. I'll come and see you if I can, Thomas promised. The vicar will look after you. And there's plenty of work for you now at the altar. But when we may need you again at the harbor someday, that would be wonderful, said Trevor happily. That evening, Trevor stood in the orchard remembering his new friend, Thomas, the harbor, and most of all, the children. Then he went happily to sleep in the shed at the bottom of the orchid. Okay, so that's the end of the story. This is Thomas, Gordon, Edward, Henry, James, and Percy. Okay, so this is Thomas and his friends. Okay, so good night everyone. Tomorrow again. Let's go to bed. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye to everyone. Bye-bye. Let's go to bed.